Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Long time no see. I got back from my eight day trip to California. Well, less than 24 hours ago. It's 1.36 a.m. now and I got home about 2.45 a.m. last night. And then I had to get up and go to uh, like at 10 and go to my six week checkup with my doctor after my hysterectomy. So it was a very short night and I don't think I'm going to last much longer after filming this video. And I have another video, but I'll film it tomorrow. So what I'm going to share with you tonight is just a little of this and a little of that. <clears throat> a very small Tuesday morning haul and a small Dollar Tree haul. Um, go to this big, huge Dollar Tree whenever I'm out there. It's big, it's always stocked well, and it's pretty clean. So, I, But first I will just share a just a few things I got from Tuesday morning out there. I don't, in case you don't know, I don't have a Tuesday morning near me. Um, I would say I'm an hour, an hour and a half away from a Tuesday morning, which trust me is a good thing. And so I just grabbed a few things. I was a little disappointed because I didn't find a ton, but I don't know. I must not have really been in the mood to shop when I was out there because I went to a fully stocked uh, Target dollar spot, fully stocked with new items, and I didn't buy anything. Um, I don't know. I think most of that had to do with my daughter and my granddaughter were with me too when I didn't want to lollygag around in the in the dollar spot. So anyway, here's just a few items that I got at Tuesday morning. This is Studio Calico. They're die cuts. And there are 41 printed chipboard shapes, they are saying, for $1.49. And these are Christmas, actually, if you can see there. And then I'll show you on the back very, very cute things that I will use next year. And then I got a couple um, books of scrap paper, and that's it. I probably would have looked around more and dug more if I'd have been by myself. This is by Heidi Swap uh, paper pad. It's a 12 by 12, 48 sheets for $7.99. I didn't think that was too bad. As you can see here, I loved this arrow paper. I think that's probably why I looked at it originally. Let's see. And of course, I didn't think to, you know, open it. Heaven forbid I would actually prepare. I don't know if I can really show you much because I'm not super talented at this, but I just thought it had some cute paper in it. It's kind of just everyday paper that you could use for anything. And there was I just loved this arrow paper loved it so that is this one lots you know little cutouts and things and then it repeats again kind of your everyday kind of paper and this one is um, Halloween inspired which I really don't have any Halloween paper so I was glad to find this is by American Crafts and it's the Hocus Pocus and it's also a 12 by 12 and has 48 papers. And oh, okay, so this one was $6.99. I don't I just thought this one was really cute too. Let's see if I can give do this one some justice here. Yeah, see, oh candy corns. Plaid, I love that plaid. Like I said, I don't have any Halloween not much for Halloween paper so I love that one and then the last item I will show you my daughter actually gave me I didn't get this anywhere she probably got it at Hobby Lobby um, it is by Recollections paper pad vintage country and it has 36 sheets in it but I know that she'd used a little bit of it set she said but I just thought it was neat because it's like burlap paper it's very heavy, heavy paper. Look at that, the burlap cutouts. 
look at that. I mean, it's, I guess that is paper right there. It's not burlap, but look how pretty this stuff is. Look at those. So I was really excited. She said she'd use some of it for something and then didn't have any use for it. She's like, do you want it? I was like, um, hello. That's the, that's actual burlap on there. And this is burlap. But how pretty is that? So I'm excited to add that to my paper stash. Okay. And then the last thing I will share with you is just a little Dollar Tree haul. Um, they have nice bags out there. Um, in case you didn't know, California is one of the states that passed that bill, I guess, that you bring your own bags, or and if you don't, then you have to pay. I think it's 10 cents a bag. But the bags that they give you out there are really good, heavy-duty, reusable bags. So I always enjoy that. But Dollar Tree, there it is. I didn't get a ton, you guys. Oh, shoot, I forgot to leave these here. I forgot to leave these for my son-in-law. We got him some microfiber cleaning towels. He loves these. And I forgot to take these out and leave. I'll have to mail them to him. I actually found one of these hand soaps. Or not hand soaps, lotions. It's kind of all messed up. But it was the apple one. I do, never did find any of the fruits ones in my Dollar Tree. But then we went to this one. There was only this one and a lemon one and I didn't need the lemon I just wanted to smell it and because I've seen a ton of people haul these ooh it, yep it smells like apple and it looks pretty thick and creamy too I'm excited to try that one so I was excited to find it okay there is that like I said I didn't get a ton and I just got some stamps. Oh, um, oh shoot! We forgot to—I forgot to leave these with her too. She wanted the playing cards. So I found some stamps, some clear stamps that I had never found in my Dollar Tree, and I also got another one of the acrylic blocks. I needed that. This is just the happy the birthday set, the happy birthday. I thought that was cute. And then I found these um, cactus ones that I thought were really cute too. They had a ton of a ton of them, but I didn't, you know, get every one of them. Okay, and then the only, and then I did find the LA Colors Conceal and Correct. I had found these at my Dollar Tree, but they didn't have this specific one that I was looking for, and that's this kind of. I don't know, kind of a nude color, I guess, if you can see. And this is the one that is supposed to be for dark circles. So I am really excited to try this. When I found this, all of these in my Dollar Tree, this one was gone. So I am excited to try that. And then the rest of it is mesh. Um, found a bunch. And I didn't go overboard because um, I just got enough for me. I just got enough for me to make one wreath for spring or Easter. Um, I had made one last year, but it wasn't the with the same technique that I like to use now. So my do my particular Dollar Tree, once they put out deco mesh, it goes pretty quick. So I just picked up what I needed. So I got two of these really pretty blues. I got two of the purple or the lavenders and two of the pinks even though I have a ton of pink I got those so I oh shoot there was one other couple other things I found um so I just picked up what I would personally use so be proud of me because I showed restraint another thing I see oh and I picked this up a USB cord car charger. I'm not sure how good it's going to be, but I did need one for my car. And the other thing that my daughter picked out, darn it, and I didn't, I forgot to take it out of the bag. She wanted to try this wet and wild 
really, really glittery metallic eyeshadow. It is in the color Brass. It says Intensely Sparkly Glitter. Yep, it is pretty intense. So she wanted to try that. So I've got three things to mail them to them, darn it. But anyway, that is really all that I got at the Dollar Tree. Um, my trip was really, really good. We had a good time. And as you know, and I've probably told you in the past, something always happens to me whenever I'm out there. Like the time I broke my leg last year when my granddaughter was born and just always something crazy. And really the only thing crazy that happened to me this time was my cell phone just stopped holding a charge. And so I had to get a new cell phone out there and it was really expensive, but you know, what are you going to do? You got to have your cell phone. So, but at least it wasn't something with my health. So I'm good there. And what else? My checkup went really well today. I can go back to work next week. Um, I'm scheduled on Tuesday, so I'm going to do that. Otherwise, it was a wonderful trip, and I'm so glad I was there, and the, the weather was beautiful. And I came home, and the weather was cold and crappy, and but that's always the way it is here. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys. I have a couple more videos to film. I have a Sephora slash Ulta haul that I will probably be filming tomorrow. Oh my God, I went a little ape shit. Just going to tell you right now. And then I also have a Dia and Co. try on. So I'm going to do that tomorrow as well. But anyway, I'm glad to be back and, and making a video tonight, you guys. And thank you so much for watching. And I will see you on the next video. Bye.